How do you define casual or normalized sexism? Well, I use the term every day when I set the project up for two reasons, really. Partly because this really is impacting on women's lives on a daily basis. And partly because it has become so normalized in our society that we don't really even notice it anymore. So I think I would define it as something that goes unnoticed, unchecked, uncommented on. And because of that, it becomes very difficult to challenge. Because if you challenge something that everybody else is just sort of letting go by, then you are the one who is seen as the prude, as being uptight, as making a fuss about nothing. And I wanted to try and challenge that perception that much of sexism is just normal and it's just the way things are. Why do people often react to complaints of sexism with phrases like stop making a fuss, you're overreacting, you learn to, you, you need to learn to take a compliment or a joke? Mm. Yes, that's so common. I think there are two reasons. I think the first reason is that normalization. If you live in a society where it is just normal to be walking down the street and to hear someone shouting at a woman making a comment that's explicit about her body, um, if we live in a society where for girls by the time they're 16, almost all of them have experienced a guy either exposing himself in front of them on the subway or rubbing himself up behind them, touching them on the bus, then you grow up in a world that teaches you this is just normal and all of that helps to contribute to that idea that someone that speaks out is then being difficult but I think it also comes from the idea that people see these as isolated incidents so usually the person who says it's just a compliment stop making a fuss is somebody who hasn't experienced this themselves it's, it's usually a man who perhaps hasn't experienced this or witnessed it and so he's seeing it through this completely different lens of this one-off experience and doesn't necessarily recognize the cumulative impact impact of all of these incidents together, or indeed how the kind of wider structural gender imbalance around us in our society can impact on those smaller incidents. 